Greetings and welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to be having a little bit of fun today in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And we are, of course, Eric Haggart, the Batanian Warrior. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. And as you see, we are in army management. We're going to be creating our own army here. We're going to be calling as many people as we possibly can to our cause. I don't have enough influence. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this guy. Does that help? No. How much influence do I even have? I have nine. <laughs> I have nine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what I wanted to do was uh, besiege this castle. We are at war once again. Actually, um, yeah, once again with Vlandia. Last time we were at war with Vlandia, they actually they lost a lot of ground in this direction. We took Pen Canoc, uh, uh, these castles here. But they did take Rimtoil Castle, which is attached to Rimtoil and Clegg Ban, which is where the hero units are, or the noble, the noble units are. That's where you get the Fion champions, man, or at least their recruit units. So I really want to get this uh, this castle back, get these hopefully under my control. That would be even better. We're still under control of Gersigal's castle um, and Omor over here. One thing I do want to mention. One thing I want to mention is well, I've been trying to amp up Gersigal's because every time I go there, let's, let's just go there now because I can't I can't besiege this on my own. At least I don't think I can. Let's go to Gersigals. And I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. I think a few episodes ago we looked at Gersigals and Vathia. Oh my god, all my <laughs> all my companions are being captured. But you, as you see, you arrive at your fife of Gersigals, the village is poor. The people are malnourished. Animals are sick or dying. Cropland is being reclaimed by weeds for lack of hands to sow it. What I've been doing is running around off screen uh, just to sort of level up some recruits. I've been fighting bandits a lot. And I've just been running in here and dumping everything that I can into Gersigals. And basically giving it to them for free because they can't afford to buy it. They have no money, as you see. They have no money. Literally, that's all I've been doing is running around and then giving them free stuff, which is what I'm about to do once again. And I'm also going to give them a little bit of grain. I'll get zero dollars or zero dinars. Okay, dinars. And then we're going to leave. And uh, I'm going to see if that helps over time with their prosperity because uh, honestly right now um, it's really bad and, and actually Vathia is in much the same condition now but I don't know and and then at the start of the game it doesn't tell you what you know it, it loads in and really eh Oh wait, prosperity. I think they just uh, they just uh, uh, what do you call it? condensed the list there, which is nice. It's nice. We are also in the beta branch version one point four point one right now. Oop, that is not what I wanted to do. So as you see here, uh, the prosperity here is terrible. Um, I don't really know how to get that better. <laughs> Um, hmm. Toll collectors new. I don't know what that's all about. Hmm. That's morale. Uh, the only thing I see is is the housing, which doesn't kick in until there's nothing going on, which we want to basically get all this stuff leveled up. We'll drop some more money in there. But uh, Gersigal's castle is is basically um, failing miserably in prosperity. So the village is attached to it. 
Uh, I, I assume that's why they're also failing in prosperity miserably. I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm just kind of learning it as I go. As we all are. Uh, a couple things have happened. I did um, I did get rid of my two-handed axe because I do have a two-handed sword. And now, for some reason, when I put my uh, shield away, it's still considered a one-handed sword again. Just like it was several episodes ago. And I'm not very pleased about that. I don't like it at all. I would very much like to get two-handed weapon skill from this, but uh, I am not. So I'm back to where I was before on that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm back to not being able to hit anybody as well. That's that's kind of my thing. As you see, it does much reduced damage in the one-handed capacity. Oh, come on, dude. See, my guys block me. Look at that. All the time they block me. <laughs> I'm trying my best to kill these dudes. And they just get in my way. I'm not I'm not good anyway. I'm not very good at this anyway, okay? They should they should help me out and not get in my way. You know what I mean? Oh, he got that one. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm keeping a lot of um, prisoners. I should have I should have dumped some off at uh, the castle there, which I'm right next door. I'm gonna do that now. Dump the the lord that I have and sell off a couple things at maybe Omor. Let's go to the dungeon, manage prisoners, and. Um, I found these guys, the lake rats. You guys seen those NPCs running around, the lake rat uh, people? Um, they're not bad. They're not great, but they're also not bad. So I kept a few of them, you know. Souvenirs. <laughs> uh, Varmund. You can get in there, my friend. And we're going to go... To Omor. Actually, we're going to head back this direction to Sionan. I'm still at 130 max uh, troops, which is fine. Uh, Kaladog, why are you raiding our own people, dude? Oh, oh, look at that. I definitely want to get involved with this. I absolutely want to get involved with this. Uh, especially since I want them to give me this castle. <laughs> and all, they actually, um, they increased, uh, some of the change lock was they added a bunch of NPCs to the game. Um, and since most of the people who play this game are immature twats, they added... 99% um, female ladies to the game, just as family members to the existing uh, clans. Um, again, because it, it <laughs> I guess most of the player base are freaking brain dead, testosterone fueled preteens or something. I don't know. But we're going to help Melodier's army here, and we're going to uh, go ahead and, and attack. And they also added a couple extra icons. In our last episode, we were amazed, or at least I was, by the icons above the, the towns and the villages showing what was going on. If there was a raid, if there was a siege, there's a lot more going on with those now. So that's going to be really, really cool. We will endeavor to experience that in detail. Ooh, you see a little, a little bit of a lag there for a second. A little bit. I mean, we're talking about a massive battle here, so we're uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that this is gonna be a little bit laggy. We are uh, thankful that we have a shield now in this moment in time. I guess I should get out of the way of the. Uh, oh no, it's way back there still. Oh wow, look at that! More people showed up just then. Boom. 
Wow, our archers are tearing them up, dude. They are tearing them a new arsehole, as they would say in medieval times, yes? I'll eat your arsehole. You know, instead of liver? I don't know. I don't really know. I figure they might say that. But I know the guys up there are absolutely screaming down. I fought in your general direction. Oh, yes. If you don't know what that re reference is, uh, is to, uh, I pity you. You should know what it's from. And you don't, so. Um, that's, that's terrible, dude. I mean, you should know. Go look it up. Pause, like right now, go look it up. Pause the video and, and start page.com or whatever the hell. Hmm. All right, here we go. Now, they also fixed siege towers. It, it, they claim to have fixed siege tower mechanics. So the next siege that I'm in direct control of, we're definitely going to build siege towers and see if that helps out. Um, people are supposed to run up all the ladders on the siege tower and be much more, much more better than they were before. They're also not supposed to run back and forth between the gate and the ladder and the gate and the ladder and the gate and the ladder. So siege mechanics are supposed to be much, much better all around in general. So hmm. I would say that is lovely. Oh, they have a siege tower. Let's. Oh, we got to check this out. I wish I could run. Please. Like, at least put effort into running, dude. We got to see this in action. <laughs> is it working? Um, no. <laughs> oh, he's coming back down. He's like, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> oh, wait. They're jumping off. They're committing suicide. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Ah. More than one ladder is being in use at a time. People are still really confused as to what they want to do. But, uh... Look at that. It's, I mean, okay, they're getting, they're still getting stuck here at the, uh, the walk, the walkway. They really are. Um, guys, you need to get up there, bro. Hey, Sturgeon Drusinic, get up there, bro. Look, you're not, you're just watching them like I'm watching them. You're not allowed to just watch. You're not a lord, bro. You're not in charge here. Get up there. Go. Oh, wait. Oh, they're using all three. Look, all three ladders. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, let's go. Come on, boys. Oh, look at that. There's a shield stuck in the ladder. Wow, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. All right, let's go. Oh, wow, he's throwing axes up there, bro. How you doing? Where you going, bro? Where you guys going, huh? He is not stopping to fight. He's just like, yo, man. <laughs> How do I always get myself in these predicaments, man? I get all uh, I get all overzealous, and I forget that I really, really suck if I'm not on a horse. And I, I kind of suck on a horse as well, but especially off of a horse, you know? The day is ours. Oh, yes. We well, lost 11 people in that, which is nice. Um... I think we can hold all those. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And we actually have plenty of people we can pull from here. Uh, decent units as well. Uh, let's see. I actually started getting some Vlandian 
uh, troops and, and prisoners. And I thought, well, I'm going to get some Vlandian crossbowmen because they're apparently the best crossbowmen in the freaking game, bro. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, that looks good. Take all that stuff. And we are off. I'm going to leave the army now. Because, uh, you know, that's fine. Oh, Calabog's calling me to an army. Uh, vote for noble retinues. Wait. Was there no vote for this? I mean, that's... I really wanted that castle. Ben Grufendock, is that is that Caladog? Is that Caladog? Oh yeah. Um Yeah. That's Caladog. Bro. What a jerk. What a jerk. <laughs> I've only got two kids, bro. I've only got two kids. I've had my wife with me for some time, man. A lot of time. And um, she just refuses to get pregnant, bro. Refuses. Uh, noble retinues. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I definitely support this. Absolutely. And I have no influence whatsoever. But uh, that's good. Perfect. We are a uh, tier three. Yeah, we're almost to tier four. Also, um, <laughs> my two guys are still prisoners. All right, we're going to go and join up with Caladog. Oh, no, this is it. Rim Toil Castle. Okay, give it to me. I'm not even on the list. Are you kidding me? Uh, with Lucian, we have a 20 relation. Kellogg, we have negative 8. I don't really care about him. 82 with Olek. Let's get some relation with Lucian. I'm not worried about losing a little bit with these guys. But you see that? We get quite a bit. Just for 20 uh, influence. Which is very nice. Drew a more castle, huh? Uh, I am once again not even on the list. Um, okay, we'll get some. We'll get some more relation with Melodier here. <laughs> it's like Caladog just wants to go against whatever I say. He's such a bastard. I am sort of arbitrarily. Um, you know, <laughs> just arbitrarily doing things or voting on things. It's fine. All right. So we have 127. We can do three more people. Let's see what we want. We want definitely want this crossbowman. We don't want any looters. Maybe you see how Vlandian infantry looks. I mean, they don't look very good. They have a sword, a pole arm, and a shield. Eh. You know what I wanted to, I wanted to see... Yeah. So it looks like every time you load the game, uh, the formation roles are reset to whatever their default is. So I've always got to change wifey to an archer, uh, Nathun to cavalry, and then, uh, oh, there was one other guy. I thought he was, I must have made him a, a party. Anyway, really sucks. It really, really sucks. And also, um, they fixed the one-handed thing where it'll save, you know. But then they changed some of these things, pull arm and two-handed. They changed those guys. So when you spend these points, um, they don't save. Just like the, the one-handed did before. They don't save. Uh, there we go. I don't know. 
We'll just do that and we'll do, uh, we'll do that. Sure. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't save. Oh, it did. Maybe they will. I don't know. But, uh, I know the, these things do not every time you load into the game. So just keep that in mind. You you probably have to do that several times, you know, it's whatever. All right, Caladog. What are we going to do here, bro? Bro. I don't necessarily want this castle. It's kind of far away from my my main area. Oh, they're already going. Build a battering ram and go. That's Caladog right there. He does not care. They don't have too many people, though. It should be fine. Famous last words. Oh, yes. Let's go. I really like the look of this terrain. I mean, it's foggy. It's kind of like dusk. Hmm. Like this is a cool map right here, dude. Look at look just look around. Look at this. Yeah, it's dusk. Stars are coming out. Really hazy. I mean, it it kind of reminds you of Scotland, right? It's just, you know. Boggy shitty place to be I can't. I'm sorry to any Scott out there I, I love you but you live in shite you live in boggy shite I'm sorry we all know this what Calado got a ranged uh, kill that's kind of neat and a Sturgeon Archer got a, got a ranged oh wifey got one Go wifey, where's she at? Oh, there's Caladog. Holy crap. Where's wifey? Wifey, where are you? Wow. That thing just got destroyed. Holy crap, dude. Battery ram destroyed. See, this is why you needed to build more... Stuff, Caladouche. Yeah, it's called the King of the Bethanians, a douche. I'm sorry. But it is true. I like this moat, though, man. I like this castle. It's all wooden. <laughs> it's like are these tier one walls or something. What is going on here? No. Oh, as slow as I walk in grass, I'm going to... You know, go even slower in water in this bog. <laughs> oh boy. We go through the marshlands and to our fate. I really do need to be running around with, without a horse on the map. That's the way I can get some athletics because this is... I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Really, it is. All right, let's get in there and die again. I love it. That's my favorite thing. Dude, you guys need to go up this other ladder, bro. I'm not going up there alone, okay? I'm getting down. Until we go up there as a unified force. Come on. Get it, get up there. Oh, they just kicked the ladder down. <laughs> All right, let's lift the bag up. Get up there. Go. Go forth. Not have a sword out? Jesus. What was going on there? I had no sword out. 
no shield out. I didn't even notice until it was too late. <laughs> God, I'm so terrible. Alright, Blania peasants are kicking our ass. Because they still don't go up ladders. I I don't know. They still don't go up ladders, and I don't know why. It's really frustrating. Yeah, we're just, we're just getting cut down. You go ahead and speed things along here. Well, that was weird. Alright, we'll slow it back down now. As we breach the walls over here. On this side, though, eh, kind of. <laughs> they're still not going up the ladders, bro. They're, they're, there's no resistance now. They should be swarming that ladder. But they're not. <laughs> I'll eat your liver! Okay, let me look at this. The patch notes literally said massive improvements to siege mechanics and AI pathing and, and ladder climbing and I don't see it. I'm I'm looking at this blob of people and I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the improvements. I'm sorry, Tail Worlds. I'm just not seeing it. But look at these guys. They're stuck on stairs. I mean. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't like it. And I don't know. Uh, should we get a Usulari? I think that's a horse archer. I'm not too interested in that. All right. Here we go. We have lots of garbage to carry around we're with Caladog oh Legion of the Betrayed left Batania hmm. traveling to Etirberg I guess he wants recruits I'm gonna leave the army go to Sargot before he gets there and takes everything <laughs> um Talaval I I don't really want this, to be honest. Um, I think you should take it, Caladog. <laughs> and he will, of course. He definitely will. Um, what? You want to resolve, declare war on Western Empire decision? That's cool. We get a we get a vote on war now. That wasn't in the patch notes. Why wasn't that in the patch notes? I don't know. Everybody wants to go to war. I mean, we're already at war with Batania. They should not want to go to war with the Western Empire at the same time. It just doesn't make any sense. But they're going to do it regardless, so I'm going to vote with them and get some relation points. Or not, as the case may be. Um, hmm. okay, so that was wasted of wasted 10 influence there. All right. I'm going to recruit all these people before Caladog shows up. Actually, I'm not going to recruit all of them. Because uh, I cannot hold them. I'll recruit four of them. There you go. Go to the tavern. Um, ooh, this is new too. You can, you can recruit, um, the mercenaries straight from the tavern menu. Look at that. Recruit 15 Vlandian armed traders for 3,000. Now that's cool. I really like that. Okay. So we're going to get rid of the people that I don't want. The brigands, the hillmen. Um, this guy, he'll never join us. The footmen, the looters. These guys who will never join us. The recruits.
That guy I want to save and keep around. Okay. Very good. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You just recruit, you know, straight from there. Which is, in fact, very nice. Um, I can't have another companion. I saw a lot of them in this tavern district. So, uh, let's see. She is cruel and generous. She is good, good at riding, throwing, pole arm, and one-handed, and engineering. I don't think I have an engineer. So, uh, auto barrel chest. Um, okay, he would not get along with me. <laughs> Alagur, the fatherless. He looks, but no, he's Kuzate. Ah, merciful, daring, generous. He's not. He's a horse archer. Not bad, but uh, not for me. And then, Furin Hart, the bitter drought. Uh, merciful and close fisted. I mean, he is. Wow, he's really good at uh, a couple of different things, but we already have a medical professional, so. We're going to talk to Rathagund. My name is Eric, madam. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, I can tell you all that. <laughs> Just the way this was written, I was like, man, this is like super peasant. <laughs> My father was a wheelwright. Everyone knew that the best work was in the Caron and the straits around the Hippodrome fixing chariots. So we sold our shop and went there. He and I, my mother was dead. The rumors weren't wrong. The work was good. But then you know what happened. No, I don't actually. That's why I asked you what uh, which story was. The riots, the patrol burns, and my father killed for being a foreigner. Oh, xenophobia as well. I'm good. All right, I'm, I'm done with the accents. I'm sorry. Well, now there's a war on and few are bothered with racing chariots. I went to find work with the armies. At first, they had me mixing carts, um, fi fixing carts. But it turns out my skill with wheels came useful um, in making a catapult torsion twist. Sentences are fun. So I learned a bit about that. A lot about that, actually. Now I'm looking around to see if there's anyone who might want to take me on. Especially if I might one day have a chance to rain rocks on that on the good people of Lycaron. Who killed my da? Alright. Uh, sure, I can use you in my party. You are very, very inexpensive. That pleases me greatly. So what I did... Um, and a little off screen time was I kitted out myself and everyone around me. So now I need to do the same with her. She, as I recall, was terrible at everything but engineering. Um, no, she's good at writing and decent with a pole arm and one handed. Okay, so and throwing. Okay. Good. 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 So what we're going to do, we're going to see if we have anything decent here of value. Actually, is that better than mine? <laughs> Not quite. Pretty good, though. So one-handed. When we're looking for a shield... Yeah, that's good enough for now. What are we looking for? Throwing weapons. Uh, and a javelin. Give everybody else a vulge. Lady and Heavy Lance. I think that's going to be the one. There we go. All right, let's see if we have anything for her as far as armor goes. We do indeed. Hmm. 
Wow, that's worth more than this? If you say so. Hmm. Now we got to be careful because the value of something doesn't necessarily mean it's any good at all. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Uh, we'll put that on her though. I mean, she looks okay now, right? She looks fine. We need uh, a horse for her. So let's give her Thurgian Trotter. And I need a riding harness. There. Not bad for 4,500. And we're actually just going to make up a lot of that in selling everything else. I yeah, just need to make sure we're not selling our food. And there we go. Now we're making money. <laughs> Isn't trading fun? All right, so we declared war on the Western Empire. Uh, we got back the castle that I definitely wanted to get back. So we have our, um, we have Clagbane and Rimtoil as part of Batania once again. And we have really pushed into Vlandian territory for sure. Absolutely. So... I think for right now, we're going to end the episode off there. Actually, it looks like there's a siege going on here. I'm going to head that direction. But for now, I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And I hope that you have a fabulous good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. We'll see you next time.